Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. Um, I'm going to be doing this video about my skincare routine or just tricks or tips that I have on dealing with hyperpigmentation, oily slash acne prone skin, which is the type of skin that I have. I have very oily skin within my T-zone and then um, towards the outside of my face, it's more um, normal to combination. And on my skin, on my back and arms, um, I and on my chest sometimes I have hyperpigmentation slash acne prone skin. So when I have a breakout, it's always devastating to me because I already know what's going to basically happen. Um, I'm going to have new dark marks, new scars. And so ever since I can remember, it's been a struggle for me. And these are some new products that I have come upon in my uh, mid to late 20s um, that have really helped me kind of combat what my skin is going to do. And, you know, even still, I wear my skin out. You know, you can't you can never completely get rid of it. Um, and it's good to accept your skin how it is and just embrace your beauty. But these are some of the things that I have been using that have tremendously helped me. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are the products I use in the shower. One of the main products, or should I say the main ingredients that I look for in products um, concerning my skin on my body is glycolic acid or AHA um, acid. And these are both uh, basically forms of sugar, basically sugar um, and fruit enzymes mixed together become an acid that is very effective in removing dead skin cells. So this helps exfoliate your skin. The acid, this fruit acid, this fruit enzyme really does help exfoliate the skin in a way that doesn't bleach your skin. I mean, you can, of course, if you get like a high amount of it and you use it every day, I'm sure you can bleach your skin if you really want to, but it's highly unlikely. This has really helped combat a lot of the hyperpigmentation that I used to get that would stick on and stay on my skin for a very long time. So one of the products that I've been using is this Mario Badescu um, AHA Botanical Body Soap. This is what it looks like. Um, I have been using this for a couple of months. And before that, I was using another brand. Is this Moderma um, AG um, Active Dry Skin Therapy Body Cleanser. This also has glycolic acid. Um, I believe it has 12%. No, I'm sorry, this one has 10%. And this is the same type of fruit acid enzyme cleanser that helps exfoliate the skin. These are two of the things that I am very much a fan of, these two. And the only problem with this type of uh, soap is that it can be pricey. It can be a bit expensive because of the ingredients. Uh, glycolic acid or AHA is very um, pricey. So you'll run into a lot of times that you're paying $22 for a body wash or up. And these, this, these prices are a bit more reasonable. Um, they're still rather pricey. Both of them are at least um, when they're full, when they're not on sale, they're both around $15 a bottle. Um, but you get a lot more and for the size is much more affordable versus the other ones that I have come across. Another thing I use when I'm in the shower is this is a uh, cast out soap. So it's inside of this bottle. I have pretty much just taken it out of the um, Dr. Bronner's bottle that it comes in and I put it in this bottle that I got from Amazon because I use so much of it. Um, so I use cast out soap to mix with my glycolic acid body cleanser to kind of stretch it as well as just cast out soap really does get the skin cleansed um, like on a deep, like kind of purifying level without over drying the skin. And then finally, I will finish with a moisturizing body wash. So this is by um, Organic, the Hydrate Marula Oil Body Wash. This has the same type of fruit um, enzyme in it, but it's uh, on a much more, I guess, um, minor level. It's not really to exfoliate your skin. It's more about the moisturizing components but I absolutely love the way this smells and this is a great moisturizing body wash. So usually when I get in the shower, I will put um, my glycolic acid uh, uh, body wash on my glove and then I will put my, um, as I said, my cast style soap and I'll really give myself a nice scrub, a nice work over my entire body with that. And then I'll rinse off and then I'll go back and finish with this. Okay, so now we're going to move into um, what I use 
when I get out of the shower, when I want to moisturize my skin. Three of the most important things that I use are, one of them is this. This is the Aveeno uh, Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is amazing. This is the coconut oil scent. I love this product so much. I use it on my children. It is absolutely amazing. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It has a very thick consistency, a very thick texture. I absolutely love this, especially if you have eczema anywhere. This is absolutely wonderful. And the next thing I use is the same, going with the same type of um, glycolic acid or AHA acid. This is a, a glycolic acid lotion. This is by the brand Alpha Skin Care. I get this from Amazon. Um, the normal price for this, again, ranges between $17 to $15, but on sale, you can get it for sometimes $10 or $14 on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. This is absolutely amazing. This has 12% glycolic AHA. Um, this is right there on the bottle. This is amazing. Glycolic acid is a fruit enzyme. And it is designed to exfoliate the skin. So it is more of a chemical exfoliation versus a rubbing exfoliation. So when you first put it on, if you're not, you know, if you're if you're not um, used to using this type of product, you will have a bit of a tingling sensation on your skin. And it lasts not even a minute. Um, as you work it into your skin, it will not burn. It doesn't hurt. It's not gonna irritate you. Now, if you do have sensitive skin, um, or like really, really bad hormonal acne, I don't suggest using a glycolic acid lotion or body wash, but if you just have kind of like um, normal to moderate acne, this will really help improve the look and texture of your skin. I used to have really bad dark marks that were on my back that were sitting there and I couldn't figure out how to exfoliate them all fast enough. And this has really helped me do that. Um, it has improved the overall look and texture of my skin from head to toe. I use it on my face, um, but only at night though. So if I was going out in the daytime, I would not apply this as a face daily moisturizer. I will I only apply this at night. The next thing I use on my body or the final thing I use on my body is this uh, Tree Hut Body Butter. This is the Leche and Plum scent. It is, oh, it is so delicious like I love this body butter this body butter is nice and thick it is amazing it is absolutely amazing I tend to focus on my feet and my elbows and other places and kind of just like if I want to go once over all over my body to like lock in all of the moisture this is absolutely amazing I love this stuff I use this all year round I have been using this for years it is absolutely amazing so if you are looking for more of a traditional scrub that you can use while you're in the shower. This is another tree hut item. This is the Bohemian Escape Sugar um, Tudemic Scrub. Basically, it, it, it is another uh, natural product that can help improve the appearance of your skin and help fade dark marks. It is another um, thing that you will oftentimes find in like uh, body washes and facial cleansers and things like that because Part of my kind of a lot of healing properties. Uh, properties. It smells absolutely delicious, and I will use this um, like after I shave or something, or just in an area that I feel like oh that that dry patch is kind of raised. I will use this, and it's gone right away. Very inexpensive. It's at most ten dollars, probably. Um, depending on where you get it from, it could be five. But this is absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. It is wonderful. Okay, so the facial cleansers that I tend to use. Um, so sometimes, as like I said, I will wash my face with my bar my Mario Badescu um glycolic acid AHA <clears throat> AHA uh soap I will use this on my face only at night um but in the daytime in the morning when I wake up what I will use is this Aveeno ultra calming uh foaming cleanser I love this cleanser it is absolutely amazing it's so soft it's so gentle it's moisturizing but non-greasy um, my skin loves it because in the morning when I get up, I wash my face with cold water. I wash my face with this, pat my face dry, and it really helps keep my skin balanced. I will follow up with either this Honey Skin Aloe Vera Gel, which is basically like an aloe vera gel mix. So it's like other ingredients in here. Um, but the two main ingredients are the honey and the aloe vera gel. Honey and aloe vera are great for same type of, same type of properties of healing uh, skin, helping to remove dead skin cells, helping to keep your skin overall appearance, um, to give you a youthful glow. I love this stuff. Um, or this simple uh, hydrating gel cream. This is something that I have used on my face for years because um, I have oily skin. So gel moisturizers tend to be the best bet for me. Um, 
I don't know if that's the best for you if you have dry skin, but if you have oily combination skin or just oily skin, try a gel moisturizer. Try something like this and see how your skin takes to it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to feminine health. <laughs> I have switched to using this product. It is called the um, by the Honey Pot Company. It is the sensitive skin wash. It's the blue one. Um, absolutely amazing. It's like a foam cleanser. It is wonderful, 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 wonderful. It has basically no smell. It's like no of those unnecessary added chemi chemicals and perfumes. It just absolutely does the job. I love it. Um, it has lasted me for a long time. You shake it up and you pretty much at most, all you need is three pumps and it does the job. I love this stuff. The next product I'm going to show you is what I use to shave. Um, not just my lady flower, but also my underarms. It is this um, Chic Hydro, uh, what is this called? It's like, the, I'll put the link in the description. So you use this part to shave and get the certain shape that you want to lower your hair if you have like a lot of hair. Um, and it has like different settings so you can get really low, you can get really high. Like it's absolutely amazing. I love this. Um, I bought the little case that you put it in. It keeps it dry and clean. Love this. So the next product I'm gonna show you is what you can use if you have razor bumps or if you have like anything like that around your bikini area. It is this ingrown hair um, formula. It is by the brand Karen Lane. This is also from Amazon. Well, pretty much everything I've showed you, you can get on Amazon. Um, this is an aloe vera gel based um, treatment for ingrown hair and it is absolutely amazing. I tried this product and within a week I was completely healed. I was just, I just couldn't believe it. Like I felt like myself again. So this was so important to me when I first came across it and I will recommend this to any woman that either gets waxed, that's a little shaves or anything that involves hair removal and you will get a hair bump here and there. This is absolutely amazing. It smells good. It doesn't have like a weird texture that makes your underwear gunky. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It, it's perfect. Like that's all I can say. Try this if you have razor bumps, really bad razor bumps, whether it's on your face, your underarms, please try this. It is amazing. And one of the other things that I will recommend for, I guess, healing razor bumps is if you get a razor bump brush. And what this does is help exfoliate um, your skin so that the razor, the hair that's covering the razor bump essentially, or the skin that's covering the ingrown hair um, becomes a, like basically soft and it comes off so that the hair can just naturally grow out the way it's supposed to grow. Um, this has also helped me um, prevent and um, almost eliminate razor bumps completely. The last product I'm going to be showing is this uh, whitening cream. Um, this is specifically for my bikini and underarm areas. Like a couple of weeks ago, I tried this natural deodorant and I was so happy to try it and it completely broke out my underarms and so my underarms went back to being very dark. So what I have been using to remove that darkness, that hyperpigmentation is this whitening cream. I would not suggest using this any other place um, unless you're going for that look because it really does lighten your skin. So I would put this on my bikini line, um, around the darker spots of my butt or my underarms, places like that. And this really does help everything be smooth, even, and pretty. So those are my suggestions. Those are the things that I have been using that works. I hope that you try them and I hope you have the same results. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day and be blessed.